Hello, my name is Paul Priestley. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Paul Priestley Art. Today, we're going to be looking at a basic drawing, but using one of these, a graphite stick. Yes, we're going to be using graphite. It's going to be wonderful. So let's not hang about. Let's make a start. Come on, beginners. Now, we could use a pencil because a pencil contains graphite. But we don't want to use that. No, we want to use this, a graphite stick. You see, a big lump of graphite. But we're not going to use it like most people do when they draw, draw with it like a pencil. We're going to break it up into bits like this, you see, small pieces. And we'll these. Now, first of all, I'm just going to show you one or two little things you can do. Hold your graphite on the side and use an edge to draw with. Now notice, I can just flick, you see, and I can get some nice, interesting shapes. If I hold that vertical edge there and just drag it down, it forms a line, and then flick it at the bottom, get this really interesting effect. If I hold it on the edge and twist it, or just draw down as a line, you see, I get an interesting line. If I use the point, I just get a normal bog standard line. But look at this. If I use the edge and twist it as I come down, look at the different effects you can get. This is wonderful. So look at this experiment. Look at how I'm twisting my wrist as I'm moving it. I'm pressing down hard on the edge of the graphite as I'm moving it. I'm flicking it. Look at those wonderful marks you can make. Do you see the idea? I'm flicking in a different direction, using my wrist in a different way, flicking up. I could draw grass like this, you see. It's wonderful. I could draw round, twist it again, you see. Twist it up and flick. I can do all sorts of interesting stuff. Now, you can see you've just got to experiment. There's lots of ways you can do this. Now, what we're going to do in a moment is I'm going to show you how you can apply all this into a drawing to make it look really wonderful. But look, you see, I've just done a very simplistic tree here just by using the edge of the graphite. I can use it in lots of different ways, you see. I'm now using the fine tip and I'm pressing on the tip but keeping it flat. Notice I get a very sharp edge one side and a softer edge the other side. This is a brilliant way of working, you see. Look at this, I can do the same thing here, but then I'm gonna go over the top, keep doing it. You see, I get lots of different textures and patterns. It's wonderful what you can do with graphite. You can also shade with the edge as well and gradually vary the pressure to create different tones. You see, wonderful idea. And then flick on top create grass, something of that sort. So the whole idea of this is to experiment. I would take a sheet of paper, just do what I've been doing here, flick your hand around, see what sort of marks you can make with it. And then we'll see about applying it onto a piece of work. Now, new sheet of paper, using the graphite, I'm using the edge again, I'm gonna draw with that. We're just gonna draw a simple landscape, few trees and maybe a a fence, something like that. So I'm pressing on very lightly because I'm doing the background. You see, I'm just suggesting hills in the background, pressing on very, very faintly with that edge there, you see. And you notice I can get some very smooth, soft, subtle effects, which is what we want, you see. All I'm doing now is just flicking round with my graphite, you see. These little shapes on the top of hills in the distance, they look like trees, you see. They're just squiggles. But they look like trees, you see, because of the context they're in. And this is the important thing. We can make this hill now look a little stronger because it's a little bit further forward. We do that quite simply by pressing on. I'll put a few trees in here, you see, and just flick up with the edge of my graphite. And you notice, unlike a pencil, I'm getting lots of different lines. I'm twisting now, and I'm producing the top of my trees. I'm just twisting the pencil round. You see, at the graphite, you see how it makes things look so much more interesting. I can get all sorts of different lines and shapes and patterns and tones just by varying the pressure with the edge of the graphite. It's wonderful stuff to use. You could do a similar sort of thing with a block of charcoal, you see? Basic idea. Right, underneath here, I've got a bit of shadow there, you see? I'm now going to do a tree in the foreground. Now, this time, I'm pressing on the 
front edge of the graphite and not on the back edge of the graphite twisting it up and I'm going to create one of the sides of the tree here you see and because I'm pressing on hard the tone is darker so it looks as though it's in front of the trees that are already behind clever stuff you see so I'm pressing on again twisting my hand as I go up notice how this makes the bark look really gnarled and interesting and I'm just flicking up here and creating the branches you see it's wonderful stuff you see you find this really difficult to do with a pencil so the graphite again just twisting it down very lightly now down the far edge we'll put a few more branches in as I'm doing this I'm working on the edge of that piece of graphite and I'm twisting as I go along you see it produces this wonderful gnarled sort of effect it's brilliant to draw with graphite I just love the stuff you see there we go look at that that's wonderful there we go and you just keep doing this keep adding more to it going over pressing on very very lightly and you'll notice all I am doing is using the edge of the graphite and twisting the graphite as I go it's very very easy to do it's all about confidence you've just got to have the confidence to do it so grab your graphite and do it now I'm going to put a little shadow down here now you'll notice as I'm this is going to be a dark area this side of the tree now you notice I've, I've created an edge against the tree have you noticed the tree now stands out I'm using the edge and I'm going to soften that away it's just going to become another part of the hill you see just very very soft subtle tones now develop this over the other side of the tree here look very 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 soft and subtle and I'm doing this by pressing on very very lightly now I'm using the edge I'm going to create an old fence so I'm just going up flicking round very much like we did right at the beginning you see flicking up flicking round flicking up and dragging down and then just dragging the edge across rolling my hand at the same time you get this very nice effect you see gives this nice sort of broken effect much better than you can ever get with a pencil now I'm using the front end the point almost of the graphite and just flicking upwards to create the effect of grass here at the front you see the idea just flick 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 be bold don't don't take too long about it just do it you see you've got to do it very quickly bold strokes you see we'll put a few more little bushes in the middle ground here now these we want slightly darker than the trees in the background but not quite so dark as the ones in the foreground you see now these are all drawn very very simply these trees and bushes you know just like little, little almost little blobs but you can see in the context and the patterns and the textures that you can get with the graphite just makes it look so much more wonderful now I'll just put an, uh, an example of foliage on the tree and all I'm doing is lightly pressing with my graphite twisting it in my hand you see that's all I'm doing and you could go over this and press a little bit harder and get some texture and depth to your drawing do you see the idea so you've just got to develop it but try using graphite because it's wonderful stuff to work with if you can't get hold of it you know you can even get a big chunky pencil and break it open get some of the graphite from that or you could use a big chunk of charcoal it's a similar sort of idea so all I'm doing now is working on top of this putting some grass down here that might be in the shadows I'm just flicking up with my pencil right we're coming to the end I hope you've enjoyed this good luck with your drawing thank you for watching I hope you've learned a lot about how to use graphite watch for the next video where we'll take this a stage further if you really enjoyed the video then please subscribe to my channel and please click the little bell next to the subscribe button because then you'll get an update of everything I do also if you want to sub to help the making of these videos then please have a look at my patreon channel where you can get great rewards in return for your patronage that would be wonderful See you in the next video. Goodbye.